Hi, I'm Mike Beek with Drinking Water Specialists, where we say take control, manage the quality of your drinking water. Well, today I wanted to talk about something we hear from a lot of people about, and that's that their water smells like rotten eggs. Now, it's not something that's pleasant, but fortunately it's not something that will hurt you either. It's just not a turn on. In fact, a lot of people, if they have a rotten egg smell coming out of their well water, will go and buy bottled water, which is costly. We don't think it's a great idea. And when the best part is that to get rid of that smelly water is pretty easy. You don't need to put any fancy filtration in place, any treatment in place. It's really going to your well and shocking it, which means chlorinating it, sanitizing it in some way, so that the bacteria goes away. Not only would you be cleaning up the bad smelling bacteria by chlorinating your well, you also would be treating for any of the pathogenic or bad bacteria that, like E. coli, which could be harmful to you. It's Unfortunately, the bad bacteria is the one that doesn't smell, but you need to be either testing for it periodically and or sanitizing your well probably on an annual basis. In fact, testing your water if you have a well is the important thing to do as without question. So the sulfur smelling bacteria also has another property which is not very nice beside not smelling good. It's the kind of bacteria which will also clog up your filters. In fact, the generic name for it is slime forming bacteria. If you have a filter in place, a water filter in place, it's going to gum it up and it's going to prematurely cause it to stop functioning properly. The other thing that happens is if you have a water softener in place, it will also gum up your water softener. The, the ingredients that make your water softener soften your water. So you want to attack this slime forming bacteria at its source as close as you can, which is your well. And if you do that, then it will keep your filters in, from gumming up so that they're actually doing their job the way they need to. Your water softener will continue to function the way it needs to. So we encourage you to chlorinate your well. If you are interested in knowing whether or not you actually do have the slime forming bacteria in your well, we actually do have a, we call it an IRB test, which is testing for the most prevalent form of this sulfur type of bacteria. Of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you that we do sell a well chlorination kit. It contains everything you need to chlorinate your well, including the shock treatment itself, test strips for chlorine, testing for bacteria, a link to a video that walks you step by step through the process, instruction sheets within the kit itself. Even if you need to shock your well again, there's enough material in the test kit to do it again. So we encourage you to shock your well once a year, once every 18 months, depending upon how contaminated your well gets and how quickly contaminated it gets. If you don't buy our well chlorination kit, that's fine, but do it. Well, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, just drop me a note. Thanks a lot.